party another day another moving day we have just packed up and hitched up right on 10 o'clock today because we are heading out to Penda Bay and we don't, don't want to hit that intersection that you take in before 12 o'clock because it is a one-way sort of road and a lot of vans get sideswiped trying to pull across and people are impatient so we thought we'll do the right thing and wait till 12 so it's 10 now by the time we make our way down to the turn off and air down and things like that it should be 12 o'clock people should have mostly come out by then and we'll head on in to Pender Bay for three days so we are leaving Signet Bay we've been here for four nights we've told you the story so yeah this is how we ended up we just had to move sites across and it's been good kids have been playing with new friends and met some people we'd already met on the road because that's just the way it is when you travel you always seem to meet up with people you've already met and have a chat so it's really good that's what it's good about all about all right so we are hitched up packed up and hitting the road done okay so we are i'll get away from the engine because all you hear is the engine once again air and down so we are at the turn off to head into Panda Bay. It also takes you to the Middle Lagoon, Neen Campground, Smithies, and I think there's another one down here as well. Um, just be mindful when you do come down here, try to avoid coming in any earlier than midday. Allow people to come out, check out, it's 9.30, I think for most of the campgrounds down there. So um, give them, you know, an hour at least to get out because it is a single, driveway in some sections and if people are towing caravans people have heard it happen quite often uh, side swipe each other because they think they're off the road enough or people are impatient and they just don't care so be mindful of that so what are we doing we're airing down here i was waiting for you to finish otherwise all you're going to hear is airing down so 20 front 25 rear Ah, oh, you could go 30 on the van. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Is that enough time? I haven't put my hand in front of the camera. What are you doing? Nothing. Put the scissors down. Not I quite sure what you were doing then. There was stuff hanging No. Out. Where are we off to today? Uh, where, where are we going now? Panda Bay. We're going to Panda Bay. And yeah. then Broom. And then Broom, yeah, that's right. What do you, you just emptied the canister. Did you get shit all over yourself? Splashed. You got me. splatter on yourself. Yeah, you want to look at my leg? No, that is absolutely disgusting. I don't even know which leg it was on Well, mind. that'll teach you to dig the hole deeper and oh. don't press the button on the canister until like 10 seconds after you started well, pouring. I didn't. Mm. Anyway, all right, so Pender Bay down that road, it does get a little bit narrower and sandy from what I understand, a bit like Middle Lagoon. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it's the same road until a certain point. Yeah, that's right. Interesting. But uh, they send you a text, don't they? Mm -hmm. they well, he did today anyway. I don't know. I'm assuming that's his yep. normal procedure. Just sent a text with the map and said, if I'm not there, just go see your site and set up. Yep, sweet. All right, so you do need to book online. That is your permit. You will not be allowed out into Panda Bay if you do not have a booking. They'll tell you to go. Yep, pretty much. No day visitors. All right. So let's go and have a have a look at this road. Hopefully, everyone's come out because, as Daniel was explaining before, if people are coming out and we're going in, it's going to be real interesting. Hmm. So, yeah. let's go. Let's go.
it. Check it out the reception. I reckon that sign's pretty clear, eh? Let's see if I can get it for you. Trespassing is a criminal offence. No booking, no entry, no day visitors, no drones, uh, or pets. Oh no, red dog's a pet. Oh, red dog is an exception, I think. Ah, yeah. uh, we'll just go to our site, hey? Yeah. And then he'll probably catch up with us later. Probably off having lunch. Yeah. Some people actually yeah. never actually see him. Oh, right, okay. He'd be just around working somewhere. Right, so I guess we go down what, that way, I'm guessing? Yep. Alright. And what side are we? C15. C15? Yeah. Alright. Let's go. So here we are. We have arrived at Penda Bay Escape. It's a bloody cracker spot, I tell you. I'll pop up the map right now to show you. But we're on site C15. Most of the sites do have an ocean view, which is pretty good. And there's also multiple fishing spots that you can uh, go and chuck a line in. Um, and also, uh, you can drive on the beach, but there are only segmented areas that you can do so, which is clearly identified on the map as well. So one of the things that you can do is go and have a look at uh, what are we what are we going to see uh, rock pools. the rock pools yeah we're going to see the rock pools now you do need to do this around about two hours before low tide but also one thing you need to take in consideration is light right so if your low tide is going to be more or less on sunset you probably need to time that in a, a little as well so when when was low tide today uh, 6.45 6 is low tide but it's going to be it's going to be dark by then so we're leaving oh we're leaving around it's around about three o'clock now yeah. so um we, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go and see we can, if we can um get past the rocks because it is tidal to get to uh to get to it but it should be a nice little How walk anyway yeah, there's a, there's a car. Yeah, there's a car driving up there. But that's right. We're going to walk it because we've been doing not much lately. So it's good to uh, get the blood pumping and uh, and uh, get things moving a little bit. Yeah. So I'll show you our site. So as I said, we're on C15. Do you like it, Holly? Yes. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot, isn't it? What about you, do? I like it. And C9 is the best. Site. Oh yes, yeah, C9. Would, okay. I would C definitely recommend C9. C9 is the best one. So basically where that guy is on his van over there on the roof. Um, yeah, that, that's a cracker spot. Direct access to the beach. Yeah, direct access to the beach. So there's, there's three, yeah, there's three points of access. There's one here and there's also one down there as well and one further down. So um, yeah, there's also a Love Heart Rock uh, that is pretty renowned for this area as well. Now I believe I've been told that that's not tidal as well, so you can go and see that any time of the day. Probably not at high tide though, um, because I've been watching the water go up. See at that corner over there is where it is. Yeah. So right now you'd probably be able to go over and see it, but. Yeah, no, I was speaking to some bloke and he goes, it's not really tidal, but um, yeah, yeah, probably okay. be, probably be right around about now when the tide's starting to go out. Have a look. So don't be fooled, this is actually a beautiful beach here, okay, it's absolutely beautiful. The rocks there extends right around. And there's the, like a little inlet around about there where the water comes in and out. So that, it's actually, the rocks are actually quite large. So it's a huge tidal movement. So don't be, uh, don't be fooled if you go and chuck a line in there because there are quite a few rocks in there. But, um, we might chuck a line in tomorrow. Depends on behaviour, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It depends on behaviour. I like those babies, Holly. Mm. I like your babies. <laughs> All right, so let's go and have a look at these rock pools.
Yeah, we're on the right track, but I think we're a little bit early. The tide hasn't fully gone out to make the track accessible. So I reckon when it is, all through here becomes open and you just walk along the sand. But at the moment, it's just a little bit deep to be doing that. But Tori's doing very well going through the rocks. It'll be an easier trek on the way back. Beautiful, isn't it? Look up. Have you looked up? Oh, it's like yeah. the painted desert. Yeah, it's like the painted desert, isn't it? There you go. There you goes. Uh, there you goes. Our viewers through the roof. No. No way. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, look at this. Have you got a so beautiful. So we're on the way back now. Seems to be a little bit easier. We've got a little bit more coastline to work with since the tide's going out. And uh, the, the, the rocks are quite slippery, so be very careful. We're wearing uh, those aqua shoes, you know. And uh, yeah, she's still pretty slippery even with them on. But there's more rock falls. There's more rock falls, yeah. Little, heaps of little crabs around in there. Yeah. And these are cool, the little barnacles and everything. They, they give you grip as well, so. And there's sea urchins. There's sea urchins as well, isn't there? We gotta get down before the sun's down deep. Yeah. Yeah, the sun's getting there. But uh, beautiful cliff line, man. Beautiful. Look at the colours. Absolutely amazing. Cracker spot. Yeah, baby. Are you coming? Come on. Oh, there he is. Yeah, the baby. I He's naughty. He's naughty. Come on. Oh. Can we walk through that way? Through the pool? Oh, we're just about there. I think we're just around the corner. We go this way. Go that way. Because there's all the... There's our caravan now up there. Yeah. No, not caravan. Yeah. Caravan. So, um, yeah, word of advice. Yeah, two hours before low tide. Because you got all of this. We were scaling up there earlier. So, that'd be the best... Best time to do it, like they say. But unfortunately, yeah, we were... We were governed by the sunset. All right, we're nearly there. Oh, Holly's a rebel. She's doing it without shoes now. <sighs> One last little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh dirt. Hey, you know that time when I was getting off the Gibb River Road? Yeah. And I kissed the, I kissed the bitumen? Oh, yeah. That's what I feel like doing with this. I've had enough of rocks. Well, why didn't he kiss the rocks? Because it's a kid. Yeah. That we walk. Hello. Echo. 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 Guys are feral. Echo. 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 Mm. See what I mean when I was telling you before? Don't be fooled. 
That was a nice, beautiful beach. Well, it is up there. But all that's under the water. Isn't that amazing? You couldn't see nothing. And now look at it. Absolutely amazing. There we go, woken up to another beautiful day at Panda Bay. That sunrise was absolutely awesome. Now, you can't beat a sunrise like that. Wake up, see it, make yourself a coffee, and sit in bed and just watch it come up with the sound of the ocean. I mean, far out. How good is that? And uh, this place is, Panda Bay is pretty spectacular. Love it. Three nights. Probably need a little bit more than that. Just a just a R and R, but yeah. So who knows what's on today? We don't really know. We're just gonna take today as it comes. But I can hear the girls doing schoolwork in the background. I don't mind my hair, I've just kinda of like whatever day. Um yeah, doing schoolwork. Uh, they've had breakfast, schoolwork, and uh, see what happens after that. So we'll go inside and have a look to see what the girls are doing. Where's the bag? Where's the well? How are you going, my Good. Are you going all right? Yeah. All right. So the mass of the water. What are you learning at the moment? I'm learning how to add decimals. How to add decimals? Right. Oh, all right. Okay. Easy enough? No. It's not. Oh, well, let us know if you need a hand. Let's see what Tori's doing. That must be what the durian is, that thing there. I think Tori's learning about mass. M A double S. Things that are heavier and lighter. So, how many kilos is that? Um, five. Good job. All right, let's get schoolwork out of the way properly. The and is how many kilos? Go back. Yeah, schoolwork out of the way properly and see what we do after that. Okay. Another day, another beach on the WA coast. Um, so we are set up down on the beach at Pender Bay. Tide's on its way in, probably about another hour till it's at high tide. So hopefully it doesn't come any further than the way where we've set up. Otherwise we've got to move it. <laughs> so that could be interesting. Jeremy's trying to have a bit of a fish. The kids are hanging out to have a go. And we're just going to chill down here for a couple of hours. Because we can. Alright, I'm gonna flip you around and show you what they're doing and how close this actual water is actually is. Hmm. Getting any bites, D? A couple. A couple of bites. More like nibbles. More nibbles, yeah. Going for a swim, babe. Current's so strong. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah, that's good. That nearly went up to my sack. You can't put that on there. Yeah, my my uh, my, my short sack. Oh, oh. there's a little bit. Oh. Not that strong. <laughs> Holly's laughing at us. <laughs> That was cool. Oh. Pretty cool scenery though, you must admit. Oh. 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 
<laughs> There's little fish around. We just need the big fish to bite. Ah, uh, don't do that. What did you lose, Holly? Bait. One piece. I'll show you what that's doing to get another one. What are you doing, dude? Nothing. Don't look like nothing to me. What are you doing? Baiting the hook. Yeah, Holly lost another one, as Holly said. On, you know, you've named it Loki. You named your castle Loki. Castle? Sorry, castle. castle. Is it castle or castle? I never know which one I'm supposed to say. Castle, not castle. Castle. Alright, Jeremy's trying again. See what happens. Look at that water. I reckon the tide's just about to turn, about to turn. I think it's got 20 minutes. Seems to have settled down a bit because the kids haven't been hit. I don't know how I'm supposed to say it anymore. I'm afraid to say castle or castle because I don't castle. know which is the right one. You marry a bloody South Australian? Well, I haven't been in South Australia for the majority of my life. Yeah, I've only yeah. been in South Australia for probably eight years if you count the last nine months there's fish jumping out out there right on that rock line oh yeah but they're just a bit far out they need to come in and eat the bait walk down the beach to find the iconic Love Heart Rock. So we went left from our campsite yesterday. Today we are going right and it is right on the corner here somewhere. So I'm trying to find it. I'll let you know when we do. <laughs> um, yeah. Love Heart Rock. I'm sure everybody's seen it on social media. It's around here somewhere. A rock shaped like a heart. <laughs> That's all it is, but it's meant to be pretty cool. We'll just find it and I'll show you. Rock baby. What did you think of that sunrise? Good. Yeah. Well, you missed probably half of it. You slept in a little bit. And what did you think of it, Dur? Good. You, you saw most of it. You were up first this morning. As soon as you put, we put the kettle on and the pump pumps the water through. She's out of bed. You're out of bed. You hear the pump, don't you? Oh, I'm going to have to figure out a way to make that pump more quiet to keep you... Uh, <laughs> Keep you asleep. No, I was already awake. 
Hi, Maria. Yeah. yeah. Well, she gets can, can I tell you something and don't get offended? What? Wait. You look feral. Well, we're missing your teeth. <laughs> look at you. Oh, jeez. All you need to do is lose that bottom one now. Yeah. The yeah. other one's growing. And then you'll you'll blend in with some suburbs around major cities. All right, we are leaving Appender Bay today, unfortunately. Got to move on. Would have been good to have, probably have an extra night. I reckon four nights would be nice. But uh, now we've got to move on. So um, just in the process of packing all up, I did the awning last night. I always do the awning the night before. It saves doing it in the morning. And it got a little bit windy last night, so I'm glad that I, I brought it in. But anyway, uh, so that means that we are leaving the Dampier Peninsula today. Now, if you do want to see more of the Dampier Peninsula, I believe I've done two episodes on the Dampier Peninsula before. So that includes things like Bard Creek, Quandong Point, Middle Lagoon, Gumberland, um, and I'm just trying to think. Oh, we went back to James Price Point again. So if you want to see those, those uh, areas, just pop on to uh, pop on to those two episodes, which I'll put them down here now. One, two, <laughs> and uh, yeah, check them out. Um, so it was good that we came back to the Dampier Peninsula and did some areas that we were hoping to do last time but couldn't. So uh, yeah, top spot, Pender Bay. I would uh, highly recommend it. Waking up to that every morning is absolutely terrible. But uh, yeah, all right, the girls are doing schoolwork, so we've got to wait for the girls to do the schoolwork before we can move on. But that uh, gives us uh, time, it gives Danielle and I time to pack up the van, um, get it ready to, to go on more sandy roads and corrugations and, and everything like that to get out of here. It's not too bad though, it's all right. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, when you're packing up, they go, oh, what's this, what's that? So you're getting interrupted all the time anyway, which is fine, it's okay. But you need to try and let them do it on their own. Uh, but, yeah, sad, looking at the glistening of the water. Anyway, uh, let's go and have a look to see what's, what's going on in here. Oh, more schoolwork. How are you going with it? Good. Going good. What about you, Dur? How are you going? Good. Yeah. All right. Well, guess what? Oh, looks Hi. like uh, looks like Mum's ordering something online. Are you doing that magnesium spray? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's gonna because I wanted to use the full one fifty. It's Word just an extra few dollars over the top. Oh, well, that's okay. That doesn't matter. All right. All right. So a little bit more packing up to do. Got to pack up a little bit more outside. Um, Danielle's got a little bit more to do inside. Hey, but do you know what? We're going to Broome. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, but that is... The end of that episode. It is the end of the episode of the Dampier again. All right, so as Holly said, we are going to... Broome. Broome. No, I didn't. I was waiting for them to kick in. All right. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We will see you on the next episode where we head to Broome for how many nights? Two weeks. Two weeks. Thirteen weeks. Thirteen nights. What are we going to do? I'm sure. Oh, we'll find, sure we'll find plenty of stuff to do. I'm sure we're not going to want to leave, mate. Oh. All right. See you guys. Bye.